Hello guys, welcome, Nautis Home Ship Simulator, it's me, SimuK, uh, I'm still recording whilst ill, I'm afraid, so apologies for any coughing or spluttering, it's gonna happen, um, time waits for no man, you know, I've got stuff to do, <laughs> I can't wait until I'm better to do these things. My time with Nautis Home Ship Simulator is running out, sadly, um, the subscription that they allowed me to have in order to make some content for you so you can see what the game is all about it's about to run out i don't know when exactly so every minute every hour is potentially my last minute or my last hour so try to squeeze in as much as i can and get as much content out there for you guys so you can see what's going on we're about to depart from rio de janeiro uh we start at the pier mao maua Next to the M Musu do Amana. Apologies for my pronunciations. Take the Canary Clipper out to sea so it can continue to the next destination. Keep an eye on the depth and mind the traffic. It looks like a bit of a long route. It's going to be a big, heavy cruise ship. 60,000 tons of cruise ship. So, yeah, this could be fun. And it's night time Beautiful, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that! That must be the port thing right next to it. There's Rio de Janeiro in the background, and I think up on the very top there. No, is there not supposed to be like a like a statue? I don't know. It looks bloody awesome regardless. Uh, so there's a little pilot boat just coming over to us now. I don't know what he's doing. <coughs> Take a look out of the port window. So we do have azimuths. Oh, in fact, we only have azimuths. Right, well, that's going to be a huge problem then because I don't have the controls. Oh no, okay. Oh, it's going to be very confusing. So we have bow thrusters and azimuths. Right. Oh, this is going to be a little bit awkward. I'm not quite sure how we're going to manage this. Right. So first of all... I don't quite know how. We're going to very slowly edge our way forwards. And then uh, start turning. Let me just double, 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 double check the route that we're taking here. We're definitely coming out, turning to starboard. Doesn't look like there's enough space to do that, but that is what we're doing, boys and girls. So let's get out of the shallows. Oh my god, okay. This is the first time I've, I've used this boat. I don't quite know how to manage this, because the azimuths... Okay, the azimuths are doing the opposite of what I've expected them to do. I understand. It's like having a rudder. I am literally learning on the job here. This is quite scary. There's a couple of boys dead ahead of us. Which I assume... ...mimics the channel. Wow, look how well we turned. That is impressive. You can see why azimuths are used, can't you? Right. Let's try and straighten up a bit then. Get myself. 
yourself into the channel. Full throttle. Here we go. This is very odd. It's like steering from the back. I know that sounds ridiculous. Like, no, most ships steer from the back. Not like this. This is like... I could probably... Oh. And we've got the bow thrusters on still. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to concentrate a little bit here. Bow thrusters to neutral, azimuths to centralise. <coughs> Desperately looking out for the next set of boys. I can see two there. Okay. Okay, I see where the deep water is. So we're very, very to one side here, but that's okay. I'm getting it back under control now. It just feels very odd having the azimuths steering the ship. Like I say, it's the first time I've really sort of experienced it. I've got a ship off to the port side. which I'm going to have to be cautious of because he's in the channel he's probably going faster than us so I am going to have to be cautious of him you see the, the little alright I'm confused there's a little uh, boy just there just coming past the window now that's not on the chart. Unless I zoom in a bit. No. It definitely isn't on the chart. So I'm really confused. But I don't see another boy further ahead. Doing. I think we just go straight into the channel now. It's like the chart doesn't line up with what's actually going on. So we, we could run into some trouble here. We, I've got to be real careful. According to this, there are no more boys in this area, but I can already see one over there, look. So that's obviously a, an area of danger, so I, w I just want to stay clear of that. Yeah, definitely the chart is not syncing up with what I'm actually seeing here, but never mind. Keep an eye on that ship over there. Isn't that a fantastic view? Oh, you can't probably see it. Look at that. Oh, it just makes me feel like I'm really on a, on a ship. Because that's pretty much what it looks like, to be honest with you. Absolutely stunning. Uh, 
absolutely gorgeous, absolutely fabulous. I don't know where the statue in Rio de Janeiro is regarding the port. It could be right there, it might not be, I don't know. Make sure we've got a lovely outside view. what it's all about. That is what it's all about. Oh, there's another cruise liner coming in, look. And... Is that a pilot boat? No, that's a warning, boy. Okay. that there. I cannot wait till the, the vector charts turn up because they're going to be so much more accurate than what we've got at the moment. At the moment it's a bit of a free-for-all. One ship here off the barrel. Oh, there may be a little speedboat over there. Look, seeing a glimmer of something. I don't quite know what it is. Get my eyes open. It looks like there is something over there. Tiny little boat. Look at that. Deliberately placed there just to annoy me. Right, keep an eye on him, please. Keep an eye out for any other ships. Oh, wow, look. There's a... cable thing going up there. Isn't that where the statue is meant to be? I don't know. So this little twerp is going to come straight in front of us. it a little bit closer than I would like to be. That's safe. Oh wow, he's going to enjoy that little bit of uh, bumpy ride there. Ourselves tucked in nice and tight up against that boy. Make sure we leave lots of space for uh, the incoming cruiser ship.
Oh, I see it. I see it. It's up there. Where do I see it? Oh, further round. Ah, oh, I can't see it now. Right, I'm a little bit concerned about what this dude is doing. Because he seems to be coming very close to us. I can see it. There it is. I can't zoom in though, that's annoying. It's right there though, the statue. <clears throat> it is there, trust me. I've seen it. So how far out am I meant to go? Okay. Heading off that way. Between the islands or around the islands? In between. Okay. A little bit risky. Here we go. <coughs> you just see if I turn the uh, the camera that way a little bit, you can just see the statue up there. Just. Very small. <laughs> Very small. <coughs> oh. So sorry. Twenty meters of water below us. Now nineteen. Now eighteen. 17. I have to stay really quite close to the shore in order to stay in deep water, which is a bit scary. Now 15 metres. Right, there should be a boy up ahead. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Right there, look. Absolutely stunning views. Less than ten meters of water now. Be careful. Pay attention. The power thruster was still on, that's a bit annoying. Oh dear, I'm a little off course here.
So we come inside, let me check this out, we come inside the island and then we sort of head up outside of the next island. Let me see, okay. But there is like a, a wreck or something in the vicinity, so we have to be careful. how close we are to everything. Look at that. Absolutely sublime. Yes, sir. meters of depth are scary. We have left the harbour and we are on our way. Great job. That was nice and easy. Not stressful at all, but what a lovely, lovely little journey that was. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Just sublime. I'd love, I'd love to do a cruise there actually, and then witness this for myself. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it as always. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment because um, YouTube is definitely trying to kill my channel off. So uh, don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. That's all I can say. But if you don't comment and like and subscribe, then... Yeah. It'll, we'll probably disappear eventually anyway. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.